गुड इवनिंग आई नो यू गाइज आर टायर टूडे आफ्टर लॉन्ग डे बट गुड इवनिंग वंस अगेन सो वेरी थॉट प्रोवर्किंग सेशन लास्ट वन वॉज आई एम स्टिल फेविस टेकिंग माई सेल्फ इन टू दैट बट नेक्स्ट वन इज इवन गोइंग टू बी बेटर एंड नो मेल फीमेल फैक्टर हेयर रिचा बट आई एम वेरी 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 i love swami ji from that perspective his thoughts his messages uh, his words of wisdom in many sense uh, he should be here any time and then we'll be starting our session thank you very much as a matter of respect i would uh, request everybody to please be seated don't move around he is just just going to be here in less than a minute i think please be seated Swamiji is entering in the hall. Can we all stand up and give him a standing ovation, please? He's just coming on the dais. May I now invite uh, Mr. Sunil Choradia, Managing Director, Rajatan Global Wireless Limited, to do a flower welcome for Swami Ji. चौरडिया तो मेरी इतनी औकात तो नहीं है कि मैं स्वामी जी को इंट्रोड्यूस करूं बट बिकॉज आई बीन गिवन दिस रोल आई शेयर फ्यू इनपुट्स अबाउट हिम वट एवर आई नो एज वी ऑल नो ही हैज बीन हेयर एट आई एम ए कपल ऑफ ईयर्स बैक बिफोर कोविड एंड ही वॉज सो इम्पैक्टफुल दैट आई एम ए चोज टू कॉल हिम अगेन एंड थैंक यू स्वामी जी फॉर कमिंग हेयर ही इज अगेन very respected most renowned international thinker motivational speaker quite inspiring 
and I also heard that he always loves talking to youth and students and I was just thinking why and then my son told me कि ये सुमर में आप लोग तो बदलने वाले नहीं हो कम से कम यंग लोग बदल पाएंगे तो स्वामी जी की मेहनत ज़्यादा सफल होगी I think that is the reason and I won't take much time but Swami ji is from Akshardham BAPS Swami Narayan Mandir he has done many conferences nationally internationally in so many countries I will share few words of wisdom or you can say quotes which uh, I like the most. Uh, one I was hearing today morning about teamwork, Swamiji, and wherein you said that I don't care who gets the credit. I only care for the outcome. I only care the success of the project. So that's one. Uh, we normally see in our corporate life every day that everybody is running after credit. Everybody wants to see how I can claim the credit for anything good happened in the company. And but if everybody works together for the overall success of the project, I think the outcome is always 2x or more than that. Another one which I like the most and even my parents and wife is a pat is important, pat on the back, we always see in our R&R, &R, but a slap is equally important. So I won't take much time and uh, I'll request Samuji now to grace us with his words of wisdom, all of us. Thank you, Swamiji. May I request AV team to please play the AV first, apologies. Sadhu Dr. Gyanvatsal Das Swami Sadhu Dr. Gyanvatsal Das Swami, life coach and an eminent speaker. By his profound knowledge and insights on a wide spectrum of subjects, Dr. Gyanvatsal Das has participated in various conferences and inspired millions of people across India, USA, Europe, Canada, Australia and New Zealand. He has been one of the most popular motivational speakers from BAPS creating an everlasting positive impact in people's lives, transforming their intellectual, emotional and spiritual quotient. He served as interpreter with earlier BAPS spiritual head, Ejit Pramukh Swami Maharaj in many of his religious world tours. He has been instrumental in carrying out youth development and social cultural projects of BAPS at Varodhra, Gujarat, India. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for a man who has an insight on intellectual, emotional and spiritual life. Sadhu Dr. Gyanvatsal Das Swami. गुणाति तो अक्षरम् ब्रह्मा भगवान् पुरुषो तमः जनो जानन निदम् सत्यम् मुच्छते भवा बंधनात् With prostrations at the divine feet of भगवान् स्वामी नारायण, my Guru Hari, परम पूज्य प्रमुख स्वामी महाराज, and my प्रगट Guru Hari, परम पूज्य महंत स्वामी महाराज my heartiest namaskar, good evening, Jai Sri Krishna, Jai Sri Ram, and Jai Swami Narayan to all the delegates, especially the organizers and administrators of the International Management Conclave under the banner of the Indoor Management Association. First of all, I would like to congratulate the IMA team for organizing it so well. Secondly, I would like to thank the organizing team 
to invite me to be a participant in this conference today. And the theme of the conference, reinvent, evolve, and lead. Why exactly we need to reinvent ourselves? Because basically each and every body of us, we walk with the attitude that I'm fine, I'm okay. And whatever needs to be changed, needs to be changed in the person with me or the other person or the working with me or my spouse or my friend. I'm 100% perfect. This is the common belief, common sense of understanding and an accepted norm when it comes to attitude that I am fine, rest needs to change, I am okay. More than that, we also have an attitude that if everybody around us, if they try to understand me, if they try to follow what I say, they would be a happier lot. Mantaini mera. Ye bhi ek attitude hai amara. Lekin aapko pata hai, आपके आजू बाजू में सब यही मानते हैं एवरीबडी अराउंड यू दे हैव द सेम अंडरस्टैंडिंग सेम थॉट प्रोसेस सो वी नीड टू री इन्वेंट आर सेल्स टू कम आउट ऑफ आर इगोइस्टिक एटीट्यूड टू कम आउट ऑफ आर सेल्फ लेबल्ड डिग्रीज फॉर आर सेल्फ to come out of self-imposed thought processes for the betterment of the world. And for that, basically everybody needs to believe the fact that there is a possibility of a positive change in me for a better me. आप में से ये वाक्य कितना लोग मानने के लिए तैयार हो कि मैं हंड्रेड परसेंट पूर्ण नहीं हूं उंगली ऊंची करें एवरीबडी ऑफ हर्स चैप्टर वन इज फाइन नाउ चैप्टर टू हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू बिलीव दैट देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ अ पॉजिटिव चेंज इन मी सो इट सो इट मेक्स अ बेटर मी बेटर फैमिली बेटर सर्कल बेटर सोसाइटी बेटर ह्यूमैनिटी बेटर कंट्री सभी ने हाथ उचा तो अब प्रवचन करने में और सुनने में दोनों को मजा आएगा एक प्लेटफॉर्म पे आप आए ना यू हैव कम ऑन अ प्लेटफॉर्म व्हाई डू वी नीड टू री इन्वेंट आर सेल्स बिकॉज वी बिलीव दैट वी आर नॉट हंड्रेड परसेंट बेस्ट हंड्रेड परसेंट राइट एंड ट्रू सेकेंड वी बिलीव दैट देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी एंड देर इज अ नीड ऑफ अ पॉजिटिव चेंज इन माई सेल्फ फॉर अ बेटर मी दैट्स फाइन Our Guru Parampuja Mahan Swami Maharaj in the year 1986 had visited many countries around the world, so that we can get better ideas for the coming up of Akshar Dham at Gandhi Nagar in Gujarat. How many of you have been there? Almost like 70 percent of you. So it was under construction, and we wanted some good ideas to present ourselves there. The present our ideas and ideology and everything. As part of that leg, they visited Germany, Stuttgart. where the principal manufacturing plant of mercedes benz is located so our guru hari mahan swami maharaj and the group of saints they visited there the pr guide was was taking them around every time while showing something new in the manufacturing department in some unit the pr guide would say that basically the fundamental concept of this is that in case of an accident we want to save the lives anything may happen to the vehicle but the life has to be saved this is our principal motto in designing something new in creating something new at one point of time the pr guide said with all pride and he had the right that we have come up with a new invention when in case of an accident a balloon sprouts out between the uh, wheel and that that's the steering and the chest of the driver so uh, it works as a cushion and the steering doesn't gush into the chest of the driver so now that was absolutely a new concept at that time today we find it in hundreds of vehicles and the saints were really amazed that this is a brilliant concept one of our saints simply asked 
that who actually creates the accident, the car or the driver. And he said, Swamiji, it is obvious the driver creates the accident because of some misjudgment, because of some overconfidence, because of some less of focus, whatever. Then the saint asked the second question, where actually we need to make more improvement? Well, improving technology is absolutely a need. We must. But at the same time, improvement in the human being is also a must. Best of technology in the worst of hands. And you know cyber crimes are increasing day by day. Best of technology in the worst of hands is a disaster. So with the upgradation of technology, we must upgrade the human attitudes, human behaviors, human thought processes. It has to be refined. And the word today is reinvent. We need to reinvent this. And the PR guide of Mercedes-Benz plant, he said, Swamiji, you are right. We need to work equally well on the improvement of the human being as well. So we need to reinvent. Why? See, we human beings are the best creation upon this earth. Of all the existence created by nature and God, human beings are the only existence where we have been given the power to think, the power to collect information, the power to transform that information into knowledge, and the ultimate power to transform that knowledge into wisdom. <coughs> So of all the existence, we are the only one that we have that power to convert information into knowledge and knowledge into wisdom. If we don't use it rightly to ultimately convert all information into wisdom, we cease to become human beings. We are just like any other animals in existence upon this earth. So not to become animals in the 21st century, we need to reinvent ourselves as human beings. We have transformed a lot of information into knowledge. And that is why this technology and so much in the management field, social relationship, well, in the health field. But we are yet to convert a sizable amount of that knowledge into wisdom. Why I say this? $2,000 billion is the annual defense budget of the world. Intelligent people reside upon this earth, isn't it? Intelligent people sit in the United Nations, isn't it? Intelligent people sit in the United Nations Security Council, isn't it? Intelligent people are heads of the states, isn't it? Yes or no? And $2,000 billion is the annual defense budget of the world and that too in the year 2021 at the peak of Corona. Are you here to fight and kill each other? You want to make this beautiful planet a hell? $2,000 billion, if it is cut by just 50% by cutting the new R&D in the defense budget. You need army, you need navy, you need air force. You need arms to protect your country, to guard against terrorism, to help during social unrest, everything. But if just the new R&D, top 25 countries of the world, if they decide, top 25 democratic countries of the world, huh? If they decide to stop the new R&D of arms by just 50%, $1,000 billion will be saved every year. For the next 25 years, if it is done, health, education, housing, everything free for everybody upon this earth. Such is the potential. Lekin fir jagdenge kon? What animals do in jungles? What street dogs do at 12 midnight and 1 a.m.? Jappura shant ho jata hai. Just 12 hours after that, we with three-piece suits do in corporate offices. Lagta hai ki ni reinvent karna padega apne aapko. Are we here for this? Sometimes the last phone call by a delegate before entering the United Nations Peace Summit is an arms deal. This is also a reinvent karna padega apne aapko. 
the last phone call by a delegate before entering into the international peace meet. वो क्या है आर्म्स डील का फोन है वो पूरा करके इसी तरह पीस मिनट में बैठता है हाँ शांति तो चाहिए भाई सब तेरे को रीइन्वेंट करना पड़ेगा इसलिए ये समिट आज इंदौर में है रीइन्वेंट की बातें सुन के इतना तो मन में रखना कि जीएसटी तो भरना है जीएसटी से शुरुआत करना ठीक तरीके से तो आपकी कॉन्फ्रेंस आपके लिए सफल होगी वरना इस सत्तर अस्सी साल का जीवन है यूं पूरा हो जाएगा इफ यू रियली आर अटेंडिंग दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस रीन वेंट आई टॉक ऑफ वॉट इज इवॉल्वमेंट आई टॉक ऑफ वॉट इज लीडिंग लेट एस फर्स्ट टॉक अबाउट री इन्वेंशन कैलिफोर्निया द स्टेट ऑफ द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स डिप्स थ्रोज इन टू दैसिफिक ओशन हंड्रेड ऑफ थाउजेंड्स ऑफ टन ऑफ वीट एवरी ईयर just because of one reason that the price doesn't go down in the international market but they don't send a single ship to ethiopia or any african country we need to reinvent ourselves to help humanity in 1968 at the annual general assembly of the united nations the then secretary general yu thant he said that the plane of united nations is flying at a very high altitude it is going at a tremendous speed but it doesn't know in which direction it is going he confessed that in 1960 and it is right more wars have been fought after the creation of the united nations than in the creation of that before that 1945 the united nations was created at the end of the world war 2 actually to stop the world war 2 in the last 70 80 years after the creation of the united nations more war have been fought than in the 200 years before that क्या किया आपने भाई साहब वी नीड टू री इन्वेंट आवर सेल्स थर्टी थाउजेंड साइंटिस्ट ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड आर वर्किंग ट्वेल्व आवर्स फोर्टीन आवर्स सिक्सटीन एंड एटीन आवर्स द डे इन द लेबोरेटरीज टू मेक बॉम्ब मिसाइल्स एंड वेपन ऑफ मास डिस्ट्रक्शन क्या कर रहे हो दिस बॉम्ब एंड मिसाइल्स आर नॉट मेड बाई इलेक्टेड पीपल आर दे आर मेड बाई साइंटिस्ट some of them graduates from some of the finest universities in the world shiksham acha paya sanskar nahi paaye they got education from some of the best universities in the world they are graduates post graduates and they are phd's but they did not reinvent themselves to tell themselves that my knowledge is should be used for the betterment of humanity not to wipe out human populations from upon this earth if this 30000 scientists had decided to drive out corona from upon this earth right from the march april of 2020 we would not have lost the world would not have lost two years agar ye 30000 scientists isme lag jate lekin wo buddhi nahi chali wo bhavna pragat nahi hui kyon apne aap ko reinvent karke ye bola nahi ki main scientist baad mein hu pehle ek human being ho reinvention is making yourself a human being first then a professional then a chartered accountant then an md then a director then a ceo then a chairman tell me if i ask you a question whether you are a father first or a ceo first you are a mother first or a ceo first what is your answer boliye zara josh se bas ye leke jana thodi si seekh to first reinvention in yourself you are a family member first and then a professional तो बहुत सारी चीजें मैंने आपको बताई वी नीड री इन्वेंशन इन ऑफ इन आर सेल्स अ लॉट एंड इन मैनी स्फियर यह करना बहुत जरूरी है वी नीड टू री इन्वेंट एंड एक्सेप्ट पीपल एक्सेप्ट सोसाइटीज एक्सेप्ट कंट्रीज इफ समी इज ग्रोइंग फास्ट एंड यू प्रोड्यूस द रिपोर्ट माई रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट फ्रॉम अमेरिका इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू स्टॉप इंडिया ग्रोथ स्टोरी कोई हिंडरेंस नहीं आएगा चिंता मत करना मैं नजदीक का शब्द बोला कोई हिंडरेंस नहीं आने वाला है आप जैसे 50 रिपोर्ट तैयार करें तो भी कुछ नहीं होने वाला दिस ईयर दिस डेकेड एंड दिस सेंचुरी बिलोंग्स टू माय कंट्री मदर इंडिया 
इंग्लैंड के रेडियो स्टेशन ने एक डॉक्यूमेंट तैयार कर दी उससे भारत को कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ने वाला है सो वेन समथिंग हैज बीन प्रूव राइट समथिंग हैज बीन प्रूव ओके वाई आर यू पिंचिंग यू आर नॉट एबल टू एक्सेप्ट इंडिया ग्रोथ स्टोरी क्योंकि आज अकॉर्डिंग टू दी रिपोर्ट ऑफ मेनी एंड मोस्ट ऑफ दी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इंडिया इज द फास्टेस्ट ग्रोइंग लार्ज इकोनॉमी ऑफ द वर्ल्ड और होने वाला है होगा तो आपको भाई साहब क्या परेशानी है आपको क्या तकलीफ है reinvent yourself to do research reinvent yourself to prepare a documentary in a way that helps humanity to grow 45 trillion dollars to already aap 200 saal mein le gaye ho bhai sahab research hui hai ye bhi ek research hai aur columbia university se bahar aayi hai 45 trillion dollars looted by in the, during the colonial era from india क्योंकि 200 साल में भारत की पर कैपिटा इनकी इनकम एक पैसा भी नहीं बढ़ी वॉट डज दैट मीन यू लूटेड इंडिया इन 200 हंड्रेड ईयर्स ऑफ ब्रिटिश राज नॉट अ सिंगल पैसे ऑफ पर कैपिटा इनकम इन इंडिया इंक्रीज वॉट डज दैट मीन यू लूटेड एंड नाउ देन यू आर प्रोग्रेसिंग यू आर प्रोड्यूसिंग डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज See what I mean to say: we need to reinvent ourselves so that we become better human beings. Everybody knows killing; very few know living. Very few know live and let live, and fewest of the few know live to let live. यहाँ तक अपने आप को reinvent करना है. that is why this conference reinvent yourself so you evolve as a good human being acha professional banne ke liye skills hain talents hain experiences hain know hows hain platforms hain support systems hain ye sab to aapko courses mein milti hain programs mein milti hain conferences ke pravachan mein milti hain kitabon mein milti hain ये कुछ नई मत नहीं है हाउ टू डेवलप स्किल हाउ टू डेवलप टैलेंट हाउ टू हायर गुड पीपल हाउ टू सेट गोल्स हाउ टू रन टूवर्ड्स इट हिंड्रेंसेज आए तो क्या करना ये सब कॉमन बातें हैं ये सभी बातें एक ही अमरेला के नीचे आ जाता है तो वन थिंग दैट इज बेसिकली इंडियड इज इंप्रूव योर सेल्फ टू द बेस्ट ह्यूमन बींग एंड दैट इंप्रूवमेंट लास्ट इज द लास्ट ब्रेथ ऑफ योर लाइफ बेटर अ ह्यूमन बींग यू विल नेचुरली बिकम अ बेटर प्रोफेशनल एज अ सबसेट ऑफ इट become a good human being and you will naturally become a good professional good professional banne ka banne ki chinta mat karna mujhe ek acha ceo banna hai acha director banna hai acha md banna hai pehle acche manushya bane naturally you will become a good professional i'll i'll tell you logically and by proof what i'm talking if somebody is a computer engineer somebody is an it engineer goes to the silicon valley in the united states and he get a salary of 50000 us dollars or 100000 us dollars he feels that i'm earning well but you know how like 100 of you 200 of you 500 of you where do they get their salaries from from a smart white american manager who is not even a bcom so intelligent people are ruled by people who has better eq emotional quotients because they know people they understand people they understand their own feelings and understand the feelings of the other person so aapko 1 lakh dollar ki tankha deke ve log aapke dimag mein se 10 lakh dollar nikal lete hain har saal they are smart managers but after the 90 after the turn of the millennium they came to know that people even with high eq are ruled by people with high sq spiritual quotient ek achhi kitab aapse share karna chahunga you can write in your piece of paper and a pen if you have it the title of the book is spiritual intelligence the ultimate intelligence co-authored by ian marshall and dana zohar again i repeat spiritual intelligence the ultimate intelligence co-authored by ian marshall and dana zohar wherein they have written that iq is good eq is better but sq is the best why because it possesses the qualities of becoming a good human being 
eight qualities if you possess you become a good human being you become a spiritually intelligent person and the vice versa of it if you are a spiritually intelligent person you possess these eight qualities in life i'm not going into the details of it i'm just telling you and listing out the qualities that have been described by these two authors after a lot of research first is flexibility to change especially considering your decision and makeup and homework in the boardroom flexibility to change is intelligence second is self aware absolutely what i'm talking what i'm meaning where i'm standing what i'm supposed to talk this or that not third thing an ability to use and face the suffering of life big quality fourth thing an ability to be inspired by vision fifth thing an ability to see connection between diverse things sixth an ability to cause as little harm as possible seventh an ability to ask and probe fundamental questions and eighth an ability to work against a convention तो आप IQ में से अपने आप को इन रीइन्वेंट करके EQ तक ले आए EQ से भी रीइन्वेंट होके SQ तक ले आए यू बिकम अ वंडरफुल ह्यूमन बींग एंड एज अ बाय प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इट यू विल बिकम अ स्मार्ट प्रोफेशनल ये दावे के साथ में कहता हूं क्योंकि प्रोफेशनलिज्म इज नॉट जस्ट स्किल्स एंड टैलेंट्स एंड एक्सपीरियंस ऑल दो कम आउट ऑफ यू बिकमिंग अ गोल्डन हार्ट पीपल शुड लव यू लीडर और बॉस के बीच बहुत बड़ा डिफरेंस है पता है ना अ गुड आई क्यू कैन मेक यू अ बॉस बट एडिशन ऑफ ई क्यू एंड एस क्यू मेक्स यू अ लीडर बहुत बड़ा तफावत है देर इज अ बिग डिफरेंस गो फॉर दैट इंबाइबिंग मोर एंड मोर मॉरल वैल्यूज इन यू मोर एंड मोर ह्यूमन वैल्यूज इन यू मोर एंड मोर स्पिरिचुअल वैल्यूज इन यू मेक्स यू अ बेटर ह्यूमन बींग एंड दस अ नेचुरली स्मार्ट प्रोफेशनल अ स्मार्ट एग्जीक्यूटिव ये ट्रैक आप लो आप ये ट्रैक लंबा लेते हो फ्रिक्शन वाला हार्ड ट्रैक लेते हो आई वांट टू बी अ स्मार्ट प्रोफेशनल बाय इंक्रीजिंग माय आईक्यू शॉर्टकट दिखाता हूं और जो आपको बनना है वो तो बाय प्रोडक्ट है एक्चुअली हा टॉप क्लास मैनेजमेंट गुरु स्टीफन कॉवी ऑगमेंडिनो कैन ब्लैंड एंथनी रॉबिन्स रॉबिन स्मिथ थोड़ी थोड़ी ये भी बात करते हैं कॉन्फ्रेंस में what i mean to say is reinvent yourself to become a good human being rest everything will follow reinvent yourself to become a good human being rest everything will follow change your perspectives ek acha prasang aap se share karna chahunga rabindranath tagore writes that this many years uh, after his uh, start of writing and uh, he writes in one of his uh, articles that when i was a small child i was playing around with my friends suddenly one of my friends who had worn a spec fell down on the ground i picked it up and just casually i wore it out of inquisitiveness ki why is he wearing it why am i not not wearing it we were just children of about 5 and 6 suddenly i started looking at things in a different way because things started appearing to me more clear then i went back home and told my mother that my friend is wearing those specs it fell down i wore it and all of a sudden everything started looking more beautiful wonderful and clear his mother came to know that he must also have specs and they went to an optometrist and when they checked the eyes he actually had numbers and he got the specs we all need specs of new perspectives to change our attitudes and thought processes and behaviors that wearing the new glasses is reinventing yourself that wearing is reinventing but first take a chance and give yourself a chance to wear those glasses nahi main to sahi hu i'm perfectly all right my opinion is 100% right maine homework kiya hai ye decision pe aaya hu 100% right ek ye chhota sa ego aap chhod do your working place will become a heaven on earth hamare guru pramukh swami maharaj ka ek siddhant tha mera wo acha nahi 
जो कुछ अच्छा है वो मेरा री इन्वेंट योर सेल्फ नॉट माइन इज द बेस्ट बट वॉट इज द बेस्ट आई वुड एक्सेप्ट इट एज माइन और ये ईगो मत रखना कि मुझे ही अच्छे विचार आते हैं थ्री पीस कोट पहनते हो टाई पहनते हो उन लोगों को ही एम बी ए जो होते हैं उन लोगों को ही अच्छे बड़े विचार आते हैं ऐसे नहीं है वो तो पहले पता है ना आपको आउट ऑफ दी हंड्रेड ग्रेट थॉट दैट एज चेंज द वर्ल्ड चेंज द कोर्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री सेवेंटी सेवन ऑफ दैम हैव कम फ्रॉम क्लास थ्री एंड क्लास फोर पीपल For example, once there was a wide discussion happening, like 200, 250 members at the ICC in London, how to bring more money in cricket, how to bring the amount of money that is in football in cricket. Now that was a principal point of discussion. Fine, it was a good business meet. After three, four hours of brainstorming session, they could not come to a conclusion. A class three employee was sitting in the corner, noting down the merits of the meeting. in the break he approached the chairman because he was regular with the chairman so he had an easy approach and he said sir if you don't mind can i i have a small suggestion in my mind if you permit i can tell you i don't want to say it loudly in public in the midst of your meeting but i just want to tell you in private if at all you allow me he said fine you can go on sir reduce the timing of the cricket match put it into 20 20 overs and the chairman said are you full we had five days of test match we reduce it to 50 50 one day international you still want to reduce it sir the principal reason of reducing is that at every ball the batsman should attempt a four or a six that energy level will bring more money simple he said no disgusting every great idea has been thrown away in the dustbin at the first attempt as a disgust wo hua ye bhi ek parampara hai prithvi bhi kyunki reinvent nahi kiya na apne 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 aap ko to accept good things in the first time or wo bhi <laughs> class 3 employee telling to me chairman reinvent yourself to deflate your ego to accept people accept advices accept thought processes fir se charcha hui teen ghante ke liye they could not come to a good conclusion this chairman proposed and they said let us try and they made it a try and we all know what is t20 today it has the amount of money that a football has it has the amount of money that football has and if a, if an ordinary player just plays one ipl today in just one season he has more money than some cricket test playing uh, a player in the 70s and 80s playing for 20 years isn't it that idea came from not an mba huh not a ca not a cs एक अच्छा प्रसंग और भी सुनाना चाहूंगा मर्सिडीज ने नई एस बनाई दे मेड अ न्यू एस यू वी एंड देवर जस्ट रूलिंग आउट द फर्स्ट वन आउट ऑफ द फैक्ट्री द मैन्युफैक्चरिंग यूनिट एंड व्हेन दे केम जस्ट एट द गेट द आउटलेट द हुड वाज अ बिट लाइक अबाउट टू और थ्री इंचेस अबाउ द बिम दैट मीन्स इट वुड नॉट गेट आउट इट वुड गेट स्क्रैश्ड और क्रैश्ड because it was a concrete beam how to get out of it 15 engineers were discussing this how to do this how to do this and finally they came to a conclusion that ye beam ko tod do break this beam because we want more units to come out and every day 5 7 10 15 20 100 100 cars would roll out we have to break this beam fir structure ko bulaya matlab the structure engineer came in he said if you want to break this beam we have to check the structure of the whole building and that would take time a few weeks that if you break this beam what effect it could have on rest of the structure and that is fine so everybody stop the security gatekeeper was a bit a few meters away he walked in and sir if you don't mind i have a small suggestion bolo kya hai what do you want to say sir just deflate all the four tires the car will roll out and again you can fill the air in the tires kiya hua मर्सिडीज बेंस के 15 इंजीनियर्स ने चर्चा की थी बीम तोड़ दो गेटकीपर ने कहा हवा निकाल दो थोड़ी हवा निकालने के लिए यही कॉन्फ्रेंस में आए हैं ये थोड़ी हवा भर गई है ना मैं एमबीए हूं मैं सीए हूं 
मैं 25 साल से कंपनी में डायरेक्टर हूं मैं 20 साल से सीईओ हूं मैं 10 कंपनी के बोर्ड पे हूं ये हवा कम करने के लिए ये कॉन्फ्रेंस है री इन्वेंट योर सेल्फ बिकम अम्बल ह्यूमन बींग एंड यू विल अट्रैक्ट ऑल द रिसोर्स दैट यू वॉन्ट इन योर लाइफ इट इज एज सिंपल एज दैट Our Guru Pramukh Swami Maharaj, I come from the BAPS Swami Narayan Sanstha, which is one of the largest organizations in the world. We have got a permanent seat in the United Nations as an NGO. We run more than 1,300 hospitals, hostels, schools, and colleges. ये मैंने आपको इसलिए बात की. Our Guru Pramukh Swami Maharaj, who created this organization to this level, that too in a span of 45 years, from his age of 51 to 95. At the age of 51, most of us start thinking of our retirement plans. Pramukh Swami Maharaj started his career at 51 when he became the guru of this organization. From the age of 51 to 95, he created 1,300 hospitals, hostels, schools, colleges, community centers, sanskar kendras, mandirs, hari mandirs, and akshardham. That means now I am talking in your professional and corporate language. That means a new institute in your language, a new office or a new factory every 15th day for 45 years. हर पंद्रहवें दिन टू गेट अ लैंड टू डिसाइड व्हाट टू डू ऑन इट गेट इट लीगली क्लियर टेंडर्स डिस्ट आउट फंड्स रेस बिकॉज वी आर अ नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर्किटेक्ट डिजाइन द प्लान द प्लान पास इन द लोकल गवर्नमेंट बॉडीज कंस्ट्रक्शन स्टार्ट्स टू फाइव एम्प्लॉयज नीडेड हु आर लाइक अकॉर्डिंग टू द आइडियोलॉजी ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अदर ट्वेंटी फाइव फिफ्टी एम्प्लॉयज पेड नीडेड रिक्रूटेड इनोग्रेशन सेरेमनी डन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पुट इन द सर्विस ऑफ सोसाइटी this entire story that i described right from the purchasing of the land to the institute put in the service of society entire story every 15th day for 45 years aapke ghar mein bathroom mein wash basin mein tape leak ho hoti ho to 15 din lagte plumber ko lane mein ye 15me din ek nayi institute chalu kar di he has been the recipient of more than 40 key to the cities in america he is in the guinness book of world records six times he was felicitated in the british parliament canadian parliament kenyan parliament with standing ovations ye maine aapko background kaha ye isliye kaha ki unke jeevan mein se pramukh swami maharaj ke jeevan mein se reinvention sikhna hai kya when somebody asked him to write i bless you he wrote i bless you he kept i of the second alphabet the dotted one the small rest everything capital and somebody told him that swami ji it is according to the english grammar's norms that the first letter after the full stop is always capital he said that i know but you must always keep your i small reinvent yourself to make your i small 99.9% of the problems upon this earth is because everybody has an inflated i but you must understand that every third person sitting besides you is in some way in some way more intelligent more talented more skillful more educated more qualified and more experienced than you do you believe this yes or no thande kale jaise aa nahi keh rahe if you believe then reinvent yourself deflate your eye a bit humne pramukh swami maharaj ko kabhi guinness book of world records haath mein dekh leke apna record dekhte hue nahi dekha humne kabhi pramukh swami maharaj ko ye kehte hue nahi suna ki mere paas 40 key to the cities america ki hai ek key to mujhe dekhne ke liye do mayor ne di stage pe swikar kar li de di attendant ko fari kab fir kabhi nahi mangi दिल्ली अक्षरधाम में तीन बड़े एग्जीबिशन हैं चौथा नहीं बनाया मेरी की टू द सिटीज मेरे गिरीज बुक ऑफ वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड्स मेरे स्टैंडिंग ओवेशन पार्लियामेंट्स में ये सभी के पिक्चर भी अब लगाए 110 एकड़ जमीन है यमुना के किनारे ये विचार कभी उनको नहीं आया हमको आने भी नहीं दिया दैट इज री इन्वेंटिंग योर सेल्फ एज अमन बींग डिफ्लेटिंग योर आई एंड द बिगेस्ट एडवांटेज ऑफ डिफ्लेटिंग योर आई इज दैट मोर एंड मोर पीपल वुड लाइक टू कम टू यू मोर एंड मोर पीपल वुड लाइक टू वर्क विथ यू यू विल अट्रैक्ट ऑल काइंड ऑफ रिसोर्सेस अपॉन दिस अर्थ विच विल नेचुरली हेल्प यू टू ग्रो इन ऑल वॉक्स ऑफ लाइफ तो बिगेस्ट री इन्वेंशन इज दिस बाकी तो सब होता रहेगा बिगेस्ट री इन्वेंशन इज दिस डिफ्लेट योर आय कम करना 
तो आपके बोलने में नम्रता आएगी वर्तन में नम्रता आएगी एक्सप्रेस होने में नम्रता आएगी एंड पीपल वुड लव यू पीपल वुड एक्सेप्ट यू टूडे एज अ बॉस पीपल आर एक्सेप्टिंग यू बिकॉज ही वॉन्ट्स अ सैलरी फ्रॉम योर पॉकेट ही डजेंट हैव एनी अदर ऑप्शन आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग ऑफ ऑल द स्टोरीज इन जनरल reinvent yourself when you reinvent yourself how do you evolve yourself what is actually evolvement it is you become a source of inspiration for others that is the biggest evolvement of your life how many of you would like to leave behind a small legacy of inspiration for the people just raise your hands all of us and it is a human duty more than human duty is a human endeavor and more than human endeavor it is a human dignity wo manushya ka gaurav hai ki hamare piche ek acha vichar ek achhi kriya ek acha system hum chhod ke jaye isn't it that is evolvement and for that you have to work upon yourself to arise to bring out your latent energies your dormant energies which each and everybody of us do possess swami vivekananda used to say that each and every soul is potentially divine we have that divinity if they say albert einstein the most intelligent person upon this earth used just 3% of his brain then i think we must be using 0.000003 only before we go to funerals not people's ours evolvement is digging out your inner energies inner talents and for that you have to keep your eyes open keep your ears open keep your minds open and when you do that i tell you with all confidence that as there are number of droplets of water in sea as there are number of oxygen atoms in air there are number of ideas in and around you floating which you can pick up and gain from it become something from it and achieve heights इतनी ताकत है हम सभी में इन 2008 थाउजेंड एट टू फ्रेंड्स केम टूगेदर इन पैरिस वन फ्रेंड हेड कम फ्रॉम यूनाइटेड स्टेट फॉर सम वर्क हीड वन वीक्स वर्क एंड ही कॉल्ड इस लोकल फ्रेंड इन पैरिस दैट दिस सैटरडे इवनिंग वी कैन कम टूगेदर फॉर अ फाइन डिनर हम छह महीने से मिले नहीं है तो मिलते हैं बैठते हैं बातें करते हैं खाएंगे साथ में दे केम टूगेदर एट अ होटल इन पैरिस वन एंड हैव टू आवर्स ऑफ गुड सेटिंग टूगेदर एंड ज्वाइंग द डिनर वैन दे केम आउट इन दी बॉर्ड दर वॉज अ लॉन्ग क्यू ऑफ पीपल and one gentleman one young man approached the receptionist lady and said ma'am why this long queue for and the lady said see those who had come by their own cars they already left and those who had come by cabs this is the queue because there is heavy snowfall in the on the entire city of paris and traffic is jam not moving and we are in the middle of the foot street so any cabs entering from either side gets hired in the first place so we are finding it difficult so this is a long queue for cab saying this the receptionist lady she said to the young man sir have you come by cab or by your own car and he said we have come by cab sir then please join the queue and both the young men they joined the queue the way in which the queue was moving they found that this is two and a half to three hours of stranding now what to do if we are stranded at some place for two and a half to three hours what would we do open up our whatsapp maybe a few answers exchanges maybe a couple of mails to answer we do that fine and if nothing the red button is always there to help you out to pass your time youtube red button the red button called the youtube and the yellow button at the green button called whatsapp has tremendous power to exhume all your 80 years of time isn't it reinvent yourself to restrict yourself there <coughs> well and somebody would a youngster would just turn around and take a selfie with the long queue post it on his social media handles and get good emojis oh my god oh my god well you can do many things what did this two gentlemen say and say so when you keep your eyes open keep your ears open keep your minds open you draw inner energies out you create and what did this one gentleman said can we help the situation but because this situation might be propping up in snow falling countries in europe and in north america every year during winter time 
And the second young man said, is there money here? Is there money in this queue? That means is there business here? And they are like decided to discuss it out two and a half hours of three, two and a half to three hours of Productive discussion, they came to a conclusion that let us design a mobile app where a person can order a cab beforehand. They decided the technicalities of it. The friend next day flew back to the United States, two and a half of three hours of training complete. They got their cab, went back to their apartment. He flew back. There they decided upon the technicalities. They designed the app in the next six months. It was put in five, seven, ten cabs in Los Angeles. Successful, other 1,500 caps, successful, another 500,000 caps, successful. And today when I'm talking to you, this mobile app provides rides to 3 million people every day in 66 countries of the world. I'm talking of Uber. And the two gentlemen, young men who were discussing this stranded on a snowy night in Paris when none other than the owner of Uber, Mr. Travis Kalanick, who became a self-made billionaire with this idea at the very young age of 26, and his little-known friend and partner, Mr. Garrett. Keep your eyes, minds, and ears open. As many, again, I would like to repeat, as there are number of droplets of water in sea, as there are number of oxygen atoms in air, there are n number of ideas. This draws out inner energy and you reinvent yourself. Baki to 40 saal vahi bag leke, vahi road pe, vahi car me, vahi office me, aap jeevan khapa denge. Pramukh Swami Maharaj and today our Guru Mohan Swami Maharaj reinvented. Kya? In the evening time, let people come for satsang in the assemblies. During daytime, let's go to them. This was a concept. Designed by Pramukh Swami Maharaj in the 70s. Pramukh Swami Maharaj ne kya socha? Shaam ko to log aayenge satsang ke liye. Din mein main logo ke paas jaunga. Jeevan unnat karna hai na. Unka maksad ye tha in the good of others lies our own. Ye unka jeevan mantra tha. To chale logo ke paas. After the age of 51, till the age of 95, Pramukh Swami Maharaj visited 18,000 villages, towns and cities in 60 countries. He read and answered three point, he read and answered 7.5 lakh letters at an unbelievable average of reading and answering more than 70 letters a day without a Sunday for 45 years. He personally visited 3.5 lakh homes and he initiated 1100 saints like us. And out of them more than 900 are graduates, postgraduates, chartered accountants, doctors and engineers. Unme se deetso se bhi jyada hamare sant born American or British citizen hai. Unme se pachas se bhi jyada san they have studied in Stanford, Harvard, Carnegie Mellon, Yale and Kelong. Humare kai san Microsoft, Google or NASA mein kaam kar gaya hai. Yeh mene aapko is liye kaha ki aapko yeh na lage ke kuch chala nahi hooga, jama nahi hooga, thik nahi raha hooga, is liye yaha ke bed gaye. Jyada tar loog yeh samatte jab bagwe kapde ko dekhte ki chala nahi hooga, pehle to woh bechara ban jata hai. My God, he did not fit himself well any place so he's here. There is a different story, okay? You, you learn it from UP. <laughs> and now you will learn it from other states as well. What I mean to say is, reinvent yourself. Think out of the box. Main kuch kar sakta hu. Travis Kalanick doesn't have a different intelligence than you. Do you believe this? Do you believe this? Do you believe that out of the routine you can create something? Do you believe this? Do you believe that you can generate a new idea, you can design a new process, you can establish a new system that could not just be beneficial to you, could be beneficial to everybody. Do you believe this? If you believe, you can do. So in this conference, before you go to bed, I want to give you homework for a night. Would you accept a homework from me? Because at least for this 45 hours, I am the teacher and you are the students. The homework is that, write a new idea tonight before you go to sleep. 
कितना भी विम्सिकल लिखो एंड देन एवरी वीक गिव जस्ट फाइव मिनट्स टू इट इफ यू कैन गिव Every third day, five minutes. It is fine. Every week, just give five minutes to it, or add one line to it. वो भी अगर whimsical हो. For example, मैं एक whimsical idea throw करता हूँ. कि you want to design a cloth using nano technology in a way that the cloth you can never tear it. you don't need to iron it again or you you don't need to wash it again even if oil splits on it nothing happens to it ek whimsical idea likh to lo likhne mein koi dikkat nahi hai aap chinta mat karna wo note chura ke koi newspaper wala aapke naam se chhapne wale nahi hai wo chinta mat karna write an idea मेक दैट आइडिया योर्स कीप थिंकिंग ऑन दैट आइडिया एवरी डे एड अ न्यू लाइन टू इट एवरी वीक एंड सी द चेंज इन योर सेल्फ यू विल इवॉल्व दिस इज द इवॉल्वमेंट इससे यह बड़ी बात बन सकती है द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ माई टॉक बिफोर आई एंड एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लीड फर्स्ट इज री इन्वेंट second is evolve and third is if you want to lead leading is not just in inheritance leading is not just in inheritance agar wo hota to koi aur pradhan mantri aaj hota lekin nahi hai leading is not just hereditary leading is not just talents leading is not just experiences you know what is leading you are walking at at the back you are walking at the last in your group let people stop turn around come to you lift you on your shoulders and bring you in the front that is a leader बॉस बनते हैं लीडर्स लोग बनाते हैं वेरी बिग डिफरेंस यू कैन बिकम अ बॉस एनी टाइम टू बिकम अ लीडर यू शुड बी अ पीपल्स चॉइस योर एम्प्लॉयज चॉइस योर सोशल सर्कल्स चॉइस भाई साहब एक व्हाट्सएप के एडमिन भी इतने जल्दी नहीं बन सकते हैं एक ग्रुप को बनाया वो एडमिन भी जल्दी नहीं बन सकते तो लीडर कैसे बनेंगे व्हाट्सएप में ग्रुप के एडमिन बनना वो भी एक बड़ी जिम्मेदारी होती है और वो भी बनना आसान मत है नहीं क्योंकि आप लोग जितने भी व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप्स में होंगे सभी में आप एडमिन नहीं होंगे एम आई राइट रॉन्ग दैट मीन्स इट इज नॉट इजी टू बिकम द एडमिन ऑफ ऑल द व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप दैट यू आर इन देन हाउ इट इज इजी टू बिकम अ लीडर एवरीवेयर बट इफ यू कीप पीपल फर्स्ट you will naturally become a leader rather you don't become a leader people make you a leader people accept you in your heart bosses are accepted in minds leaders are accepted in hearts for that you need a couple of qualities to develop and that is bring bring the goodness out of yourself we have lot of goodnesses and we all have an experience that at some point of time we have expressed the best of goodness from ourselves isn't it kabhi humne kisi ko forgive kar diya hai kabhi kisi ko madad kar di hai ha ya na kabhi kisi ki bhul ko bhul gaye hain kabhi kisi ko swikar kar liya hai ha ya na hum sabhi ne sporadic incidents mein ye sab kuch kiya hai satatya nahi bana raha isliye leader nahi bane in few incidents this goodness has been expressed by us but that goodness we could not keep it constant in our life so we don't become leaders even those people who wanted to send mercenaries against the indian army in kashmir 
for those india send indian army to set up hospitals to help people during the quake under operation dost goodness isko bolte hain goodness not retaliation no revenge no exchange of harsh words absolutely silent but showing from within i am a friend and that is why the operation dost pata hai na operation dost kya hai no halla bulla no harsh words no revenge no retaliation a soft heart today you need help whatever you have spoken in the past about me or my country today you need help i will send help bring the goodness out of you then you become a leader that goodness is very important it was like in 2007 when in bristol england a cricket match was being played between india and england england were batting ian bell was at the crease one of the star batsmen and just the ball before the tea break he hit it on the on side towards the square leg and the ball was rolling towards the square leg boundary the batsman ran two complete runs by the end of the second run ian bell felt that the ball has like crossed the boundary and it would like just be crossing ekdam edge pe tha so they saw it like it was a four and both the both the batsmen started walking towards the pavilion it was a tea break and unfortunately for them the ball did not cross the boundary and one of the indian fielders collected it and threw it on ms dhoni the wicket keeper and dhoni ran out them and they made an appeal and umpire raised his finger and ian bell was declared run out and the entire stadium erupted what is this it's already a tea break both the batsmen are walking towards the pavilion half of your fielders have turned around towards the pavilion from the pitch and you are making run out a person that to our star batsman ian bell what is this nonsense and people started throwing bottles this and that technically indian team was right technically the umpire's decision was right logically nobody can challenge this decision according to the cricket book rules it was 100% perfect in the dressing room a couple of english administrators approached a senior player and he of india and he said no i can't change the decision out means out sachin tendulkar came to know about this he stepped out of his dressing room and said what is the issue and he was explained that this is the issue sachin said we do play cricket according to the norms according to the words of the cricket book but there are moments where we must go beyond words beyond norms beyond books to show that we play the game in the spirit of the game let's call ian bell back and on sachin's insistence sachin being such a character being such an experienced person and such a respected person in the team rest all 10 players accepted this and when ian bell walked out with his bat after the tea break the entire british crowd packed with the in the stadium they again stood up with standing ovations they came to new they came to know during the tea break that it is not something going according to the book somebody has shown a big heart and playing in the spirit of the game later when this incident came out all had very high regards and respect for sachin so see to bring the goodness out of yourself sometimes go beyond the words go beyond the norms and rules sab kuch is prithvi pe kaida anusar nahi chalta we are emotional existences do you do you, are you getting what i'm talking we are emotional existences we are fast emotional and spiritual existences jaise warren buffett ne bahut achhi baat ki hai one of the richest and rather the most richest investor upon this earth he says that forget that we are human beings on a short spiritual journey no actually we are spiritual existences on a very short human journey of 70 years upon this planet this belief brings out the goodness from you this belief brings out the goodness in you and that goodness helps 
that goodness creates that goodness lifts you up that goodness has the power for you to be accepted in the hearts of people sachin tendulkar chennai mein ek restaurant mein baithe the waiter serve kar raha tha do teen service ke baad waiter ne badi himmat jata ke sachin ji ko kaan mein kuch kaha aur kya kaha sir i have a small suggestion for your game sachin such a gentle person such a wonderful character he said please go on and the waiter was like sir really he said yes and the waiter said sir the arm elbow that you wear is a bit half an inch or a quarter of an inch oversized which i feel seeing you so the pull shots that you play doesn't give you the freedom to go for a full bat swing so you hook the ball towards a square leg a bit towards fine leg but not perfectly towards the deep fine leg sachin dekhte reh gaye unke samne and he said yeah you are right let me check it tomorrow morning at the nets and he with his full batting gear went to the nets the next morning and asked the practice bowlers to bowl him a few short pitch deliveries so that he could try to swing his bat and play an, a shot on the on side a pull shot then he found that he is finding a bit of a trouble for a full swing of the bat because of this arm elbow being probably quarter of an inch oversized and sachin changed the master of the game the god of cricket the greatest batsman to walk this planet 100 international tons he changed his batting gear on a suggestion of a waiter that makes him a person to lead सी लीडर ये नहीं होते हैं कि उनके पास स्टाफ एक हजार का होता है ये नहीं होते हैं कि 500 करोड़ की कंपनी चलाते हैं लीडर्स वही होते हैं जिनके जीवन के प्रसंग से आप प्रेरित होते हो ही मे बी अ सिंपल मैन सिटिंग इन अ स्मॉल हार्ट ही मे बी अ सिंपल पर्सन वॉकिंग ऑन द रोड थॉट्स इमोशंस फीलिंग्स attitudes expressions he can give a better version of it to the world and inspire the world that is a leader bosses they lead huge administrations leaders they lead huge masses towards betterment of humanity itni to inspiration aayi na ki kabhi pyun aapko kuch kahe to prem se sunna padega aaj itna to pata chala na मैंने मर्सिडीज की आपको बात की सचिन जी की आपको बात की तो इतना तो लेके आप जाओगे ना कि कोई छोटा आदमी कभी आपको कोई सजेशन के लिए आएगा तो ये मत बोलना कि मैं एमबीओ और यू यू आर टू सेकंड स्टैंडर्ड पास प्रेम से उसको सुनना जिसको स्टीफन कोवी द मोस्ट डेकोरेटेड मैनेजमेंट गुरु अपॉन दिस अर्थ ही सेज एम्फेटिक लिसनिंग द बिगेस्ट क्वालिटी ऑफ अ लीडर इज लिसनिंग एंड एम्फेटिक लिसनिंग मीन्स don't just listen to answer which normal is the practice we do when somebody is talking we start our minds what to reply what to argue how to break his dialogue isn't it emphatic listening is listen not just to answer listen to understand the person only such people they lead I have read more than 500 biographies and autobiographies from Gandhi to Nelson Mandela to Abraham Lincoln to Winston Churchill to George Washington to Pramukh Swami Maharaj to Sachin Tendulkar everybody very good listeners exceptionally good listeners and they became great leaders so in our sanatan shastra it is said let good ideas come to me from all directions you listen and you get good ideas from people so leader are those people and if you decide you can bring this goodness out of you ek aakhri prasang keh ke main pura karta hu in the presence of our guru pramukh swami maharaj years back in 
in a small village called Chinchwada in Dang district in the southern part of the state of Gujarat. A person by the name Ganesh Raut, he narrated his own incident in the presence of Pramukh Swami Maharaj and in the evening assembly. He said that I was a total drunkard. I used to be in that state of drunkenness 16 to 18 hours in the day. Morning wake up and before I take up my brush I would start drinking. Because of that he had problems in the family and naturally it would occur. He would beat up his wife, his children. He was thrown into such a poverty because of this that there were not enough grains in the house even for the next meal. Ye paristhiti thi. He would start brawls and fights with other villagers in the neighborhood. And because of that, he was a total menace in the whole village. Everybody wanted to outcast him. He once met Pramukh Swami Maharaj. He Pramukh Swami Maharaj ko ek bar ye Ganesh Raut mile. Aur Ganesh Raut ne ye sab kuch Pramukh Swami Maharaj ko bata. He said all these things. And Pramukh Swami Maharaj caught hold of his hand and said, see, this human life, God has gifted to us. It's the greatest gift that anybody gets from God. A beautiful human life of 60, 70, 80 years. 5, 10 plus minus with the grace of God. A human life is a gift by God to you. Bringing out the goodness from your soul and living a God-loving Human life is your written gift to God. Written gift to Dini Parthiyan. <laughs> Pramukh Swami Maharaj told Ganesh Raut, see, our life should be according to the principles that has been described to us for a perfect human life in the Sanatan scriptures, by the modern thinkers, and living a pure and a pious life is a human dignity. We are here to help people, not harass people. Another thing that Pramukh Swami Maharaj said, that we must be in the well-being with the people, not just be a harassment to the people. And those words were coming out from a very pure soul like Pramukh Swami Maharaj. See, if I take a 303 bullet in my hand and throw at you on your face, you may get hurt. And if I fire the same from a revolver, it can kill a person. Words are the same from where they are coming out. More pious the heart of the speaker. More clean the emotions of the speaker. Those words better affect you. Goli vahi hai. Kahan se nikalti hai wo dekhna hai. In the same way, words are the same. Jho mene pravachan kiya, usme se koi nahi baat nahi hai. आप में से कोई भी यहां के ये चीजें बोल सकते हो मोर यू मेक योर सेल्फ प्योर द मोर यू विल बी एबल टू एनरिच द लाइफ ऑफ पीपल गणेश राव डिसाइडेड टू एनरिच हिज लाइफ ही लेफ्ट असाइड ऑल इज एडिक्शन ही स्टार्टेड टू वर्क वेल फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ द कम्युनिटी टूडे वेन आई एम टॉकिंग टू यू he is the Sarpanch of Chinchwada village and other six villages, though him not residing there, those people have accepted him and said that we don't want to have any elections. You are our Sarpanch as well. So it is a history in the country that is a Sarpanch of seven villages. And the government of India has conferred upon his village, Chinchwada, as the, for the Nirmal Gram Award that he got under his sarpanship. There is always space for improvement. You can always enrich your life. You can always bring the goodness out of you, wherever you are, whatever you are. So lastly, reinvent, evolve, and lead. What does it mean in one line? In one line it means a big cross on three C's. The first C is control. That means trying to control everything that is around you by your ego. The second C is coterie. My group, only my group, nobody has the entry. We are doing the best. And third C is consume. Big cross on the three C's. Consume, 
control and coterie. And a big right on three C's, care, cooperate and contribute. You reinvent, evolve and lead. Thank you very much for patiently listening to me and all my prayers for all of you. Thank you, Swamiji. I think this is a totally new definition of reinvent, what you must have heard entire day. But this is very, very important, uh, not just for today, but for our entire life. Swamiji has, uh, Swamiji ne kaafi sari kitabe jikhi uh, padhi hai, azag azag. Aur usme teen chaar jo cheezon pe focus kiya hai, major ji usme uh, character building ek major hai, uh, attitude, the master key. तो इन सारी चीजों पे स्वामीजी ने मेरे ख्याल से आज सारी चीजें आज कवर कर जिएंगे इतने छोटे से टाइम में, which is रिया जी रिया जी remarkable for all of us. May I now invite Mr. Kirti Bahati, co-founder and managing director, to present a memento to स्वामीजी. Mr. Kirti Bahati. May I also request Conclave Committee to please come on the stage for a, a photograph with Swamiji. And uh, last but not the least, we have a dinner at Marriott 8 p.m. onwards. So requesting all the delegates to reach there. And let's join for the dinner at 8 p.m. at Motel Marriott. Thank you. <laughs>